Hi YouTube! In today's video I want to show you how to control a LED over a HTTP server written in C. And I won't write the HTTP server from scratch, but instead I will use an uh, implementation I have found on GitHub. If you're interested about how to write a HTTP server from scratch, it's not so hard, you have only have to use some um, you are just implementing a socket server and you're handling some requests. It isn't so hard and I will put a link into the description to another video where um, another YouTuber shows you how to do this. But for this video I will use the Pico HTTP server, which is a very simple HTTP server for Unix using Fork. It is very easy to use. And so let's just get this um, repository and let's clone it on my Raspberry Pi. So here I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and my programming folder and here I will clone this Pico HTTP server and I will clone it into the file um, HTTP server. And let's go into it and check what's in it. So here we have five files. This is just a readme. Here is the source and the header file for the HTTP server, a main file and a make file. Before we start, I, we have to correct one, um, one mistake which was made in this implementation. So let's go down here. So here we have to delete um, this, this variable here because it's declared twice, one time up here, one time down here. And if we have it two times, um, um, saving the payload won't work, so I will just delete it here. Okay, and now let's look at the um, main.c file. Here we have a main function, and all we are doing here is we are calling the function server forever, and we pass we are passing a port number as a string. So in this case, our server will run on the port 12913, and this function down here is a callback function which will be called by server forever. And what this does whenever the server gets a request from a client, our um, web browser. It will call this function and down here we are testing if we have a get request. Get requests are used for getting um, the HTML code or pictures or stuff like that whenever this is called. Um, these two lines will be um, executed and if we have a post request these three lines here are executed. And you may notice we are using printf here but in this case um, this string won't go out to our terminal's output, but instead with printf you send the stuff to our um, web browser. And if you want to lock something, you can use fprintf and write standard error, and then you can specify a string and send it. Okay. So, and here if we have a post request and we are interested in the payload, we can access the payload by using the payload variable. So I've just implemented here. So what I will do now is I will just build um, the source code and I will start the server. Okay, and let's go to my web browser here and I will type the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And of course I need um, I will need the port number as well. Here I already have it now. Zero dot. Okay, here we are. So now we will get this message here. Hello, you're using, and this is our browser information which is sent from our web page. Great, but now um, the content is hard coded, and the first thing I want to change is I want to read in an index.html file and I will print it out here. So this is what we are going to do now. So I will quit the server here. I will open main.c and add a function here. Read reads in the file index.html and sends it to the client. So, and I will um, call the 
function get index. We don't have any arguments here. And I will need a file descriptor for opening the file. And I will need some I will need some um, includes. And because I know it's in httpd.c, I will just copy them. So I will need yeah, let's copy all, paste it in here, and okay, I can delete five. I only need these includes here: standard IO, string.h, standard lib, unistd, and function.h. And I will open index.html. Ah, come on. So if the index equals read index HTML and I want to open it with read permissions only and if if this will return zero or a value smaller than zero we know an error occurred. And if I couldn't load the page, I would just um, print out error 404. This is the HTML error for could not find page. And this up here we have to send, so the client knows that um, we are sending HTTP or we are understanding the protocol. And I will return from the function. But in case um, we could open the index, we now have to read everything in and send it to the client. So I need a buffer here for storing the content um, of the index.html file, and I will need a variable, a temp variable here. So first I will set all Charles in my buffer to zero. Then I will re. I will. Oh, this up here should be open, not read. I will need the read function now to read from my file descriptor. I want to read into my buffer, and the maximum amount of bytes is 2048. And I will store the result in the temp variable, and with printf, I will send everything to my server. And I will do this as long as there is anything to read from the file. Okay. And the last thing we have to do is we have to close our index.html file. And here I, before we send the content, we have to send this here too. Okay. So now. Instead of these two lines here, I will call my new function getIndex. Okay, now let's try to compile it. Looks good. Now we need an index.html file. HTML. Okay. Add HTML. Add title LED control title add body. Here we have a heading. I will write to LED control here, and here is a simple or um. Okay, and I will need a form for sending, uh, for using the post method here. And here I will create two buttons to turn the LD on and off. The name will be LED1, value will be 1 here, LED1 on. 
and let's copy this, set the value to zero, and oh, one is okay, but instead of LED off here, form body HTML. Okay, so now let's run our server and let's try to connect to it again. Okay, now we have here our simple HTML. Um, side we have written here index and now we're just I will, um, I will press LED one one time to see what the payload is so the payload here is LED one equals and the value if I do it for LED one off the value here is a zero so now for using so now we have to extract the zero and we have to write it to our LED so let's do this main file again so here we have to init um, gpio for D. I will use virenpy for this and I'm using gpio25 um, pin node 25 output digital write 25 zero and of course I have to include viral pi here so and down here I will delete these four lines I will just print out my index here again and now we have to check our payload for this, we will need a pointer here, a top pointer. So, if pointer equals string string, so we are now searching for a string. We want to search the payload for the string LED1 equal. And if this is not equal to now, we know we have a new value written for the LED and I forgot the bracket here. Okay. So now um, I will increase my pointer. And now I can use digital write to update my GPO. So 25, I will convert um, from string to integer here and let's print out the state of the LED. So fprintf standard error LED is now okay and here I will just use I will convert it again. Maybe a variable would be useful here but never mind. Okay, and that should be it. Now let's update our make file because we need to include um, the viral pilot here too for the linker and for compiling main.o. Let's compile it. Great, let's run the server again. Now I will reconnect to my server here. Uh, So let's. So here we have the picture, and now watch the LED. Now the LED is on, and if I press off, LED will turn off. So great, we could control a LED over a web server or over a website. This is really great, but I would only use such a thing for demonstration purpose. I won't use it as a, a permanent. Thing because this HTML server is very bare minimum, it doesn't have much error handling or I don't know how good security is with this um, web server. So I think if you have a project and you want to present your project and you want to avoid using the command line, such a web server could be a great idea. But for permanent things, I would, um, I would use um, known 
implementations or better implementations of HTML servers. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.